The Bible is the mark of the beast. Today I want to tell you about predestination and what God has done for us. There's an old poem goes, I was in sin's prison, oh so dark and cold. I was just a lost sheep wandering from God's eternal fold. And then the door swung open and Jesus spoke to me. I have signed your pardon. You can now go free. Now, here's a trick that Satan plays on us Holy Ghost people. He makes us feel guilty. He makes us say we ain't worth nothing. There ain't many of us and all. But let me tell you, we're the only important thing on earth is God's children, his sons. So do not ever let the devil put a guilt trip on you. Don't let him make you guilty. You ain't guilty of nothing. When the death angel came through Egypt, he did not stop at the house of the people that had the blood over the post. You got the blood of Jesus Christ over you. Satan will not stop at your house. He may come by and try to scare you, but don't let him scare you. He's the one that should be afraid because he's the one sinned. You didn't sin because the Holy Ghost come upon you. If the Holy Ghost has touched you, you're forgiven of your sins. You're on your way home. Now I want to show you a deep thing today. So stay with me and learn this truth. No matter how hard things get on you, and how bad they are. Remember John? The angel said, John, whence comest all these people? He said, they came out of great tribulations. We'll come out of great tribulations, but we will come. God will send his angels to us and help us and protect us and watch over us. We're his only seed on this earth. Now, let me tell you this. No matter how bad things get on you, you have something that can't be bought with money. You have the love of God. If you've been touched by the Holy Ghost, and not you ain't controlled by a book. If even if it comes to this pass in your life, you get so entangled up in the world that the shadow spirits come and get you and drags you into hell. Don't give up. In hell, you cry out to Jesus, and there'll be a light shine, and Jesus will come and get you in hell because He went and preached to the uh, spirits that was in prison. So don't ever give up. Fight the fight. He wants to touch you. Your conscience excuses you or accuses you. You let God establish you. God done this. It wasn't man done this. Man didn't bring forth the cross of Christ. You say, you wasn't the one that sinned in the garden. That was Adam. You get a, you get a choice. You make a choice. You want to serve God. Nothing can stop you. Grace will always be upon you. Now, let me show you something that this brother knew deeper than I know. But I want to tell you this. This is a very, very important truth. Now, I'm not a Calvinist. And I'm not a Baptist that says once saved, always saved. They're saved by a book. We're saved by the anointing. Once the Holy Ghost touches you, God made up his mind. He's going to save you. You listen to me. You do not give up. You don't never give up. You fight because you got God on your side. Now listen to this. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. God done this thing. God put the blood over the post and God's one said to do it. And so God has ordained us and predestinated us for life. Don't let nobody take your crown. You fight to the end. You go to the end. Listen to what this brother says. He said, Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. So God keeps us. Children, I've been in many, many bad places. One time I was in a place and I said, Lord, you need to show up here. And he said, I just did. <laughs> He'll never let you down. He will never leave you or forsake you. You Holy Ghost kids that's been touched by God. If your mama don't want to go, you let her go the broad road. You take the narrow road. Go watch Bible whispers die. They know so sad. They know where they're going. We die with smiles on our face. We're going home. We're predestinated for life. That we're pre-designed. God set this thing up, not us. He saved us by his grace and what he says, he keeps. He said, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ himself, to Jesus Christ himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. He wants to save us. And what he does Satan can't tire that down. Satan's the one's in trouble. They'll make you feel guilty. They'll say all kinds of Bible worshipers. You see, they're not saved. You see, you can't be saved by words in a book. 
We're not saved by words in a book. We're saved by God in us. He comes and touches us and lives in us. See, they claim a book for the word of God. We claim God for the word of God. This is God in us. Never let nobody like them. They make divisions in the body of Christ. They're of the devil. They're not of God. But there's a few of us Holy Ghost children. You stand up. God's going to stand up in us. And we're going to tell the world where they're wrong today because they're worshiping idols, worshiping Bibles and things. Now, I want you especially listen to this one. I like this one. This is out of the history book. I only use the history book for teaching. I don't use it for faith. It's what God tells you. Listen to this. He said, in whom also, ha whom, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance. You have an inheritance waiting on you. Don't let nobody take your crown. Being predestinated. God set this thing up. He said, I, I anointed you. I meant for you to make it. And you've made it. You're my son. Now you be it. And nothing can take God from me. Unless you give it up. Don't give it up. You stay in there and you pray and fast. And God will get you out of it. He predestinated us according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. He predestinated us according to the purpose of God. So we have obtained an inheritance. Don't ever give up. Always stand in the Holy Ghost. Many people get attacked by the devil. He ain't the son of God no more. You got power over him. The Holy Ghost lives in you. You fight to the dying day and you tell, see, you don't want sin. You don't want to live back to the flesh. You want God. Nothing can take that from you. When sin abounds grace, he'll give you more love, more power. Stay with God. Do not give up. We got good things ahead for us. We're going to be the main characters in this last play on earth. It's time now for Jesus' voice to be heard again. The sons of God will be manifested. This thing is being diminished now. This thing is going down. They don't have much power. Bible worshipers are starting to get worried now. You can see it on their face when they're dying. Go watch some of them die. They're worried. When you see a Holy Ghost person's face when they're dying, they're smiling. They're going home. Bible worshipers are going to be with Lucifer. We need to stand up and tell them this book will make you bitter. We're God's people. He's going to anoint many now that get you power. Keep it. Keep it. Do not ever give it up. Stand for God until if you're in hell. You cry out to God. I love you. Be like Samson. He had his eyes punched out and they're playing with him down there. He said, God, remember me. If God's ever touched you by the Holy Ghost and wrote your name in the Lamb's Book of Life, he'll remember you. You stand. There's not many of us, but we got to tell this world they're on the way to hell and we're on the way to heaven because of the anointing. When Jesus died on that cross, he sent back the anointing. That's us. We're predestinated to be with God. We're not guilty. They make us guilty. Do not be guilty. Be a son and a daughter of God. Live by faith and love the spirit of the living God. And never, never, never give up. He told me, don't give up. So if you don't give up, you'll be going home soon, children. But make a good stand. And let's stand for God. And let God live in us. And let the light of the Lord shine. See, this is the light, the light of every man that comes into the world. This is God in us, and they cannot stop us. We're the only good thing left on earth. We are God's children, so never give up. Stand for God. You're predestinated to be with Jesus Christ, so make a good run. And don't give up. Fight a good fight. Keep the faith and finish your course. Started out for Jesus Christ to run Full of joy and love for the good life Heartaches, pain and Satan kept on coming To preach these words of life there is a prize Don't give up, don't give up, keep on trying Don't give up, don't give up, men are dying Hey!
Satan's on your trail. Don't give up, don't give up, keep on trying.